Year after year, in rugged head-to-head -head competition, the Yamaha Rhino has fallen short of the Polaris Ranger. For 2009, Ranger has added new dual front A arms for a smoother ride and 50% easier steering. A tough new front end and new work enabling ergonomics. Let's put those new features to the test in the Ranger Rodeo. Today's off-road competitors are the Polaris Ranger 4x4 500 EFI, the base model in the new Ranger lineup, going against Yamaha's best, the Rhino 700 FI. To ensure fairness, the course, vehicle setup, and tests have been monitored and validated by an independent third party. Let's get started. Two of the toughest tests of a hardworking vehicle are hauling and towing. The Rhino has a big, tough name, but with a small cargo box that holds just 400 pounds, it's clearly not built for work. The Ranger is clearly superior. Its cargo box is over two times larger by volume and holds up to a thousand pounds, two and a half times more than the Rhino. That means you can haul a half ton of material or equipment in a single trip. And the Ranger tows up to 1,500 pounds, 24% more than the Rhino. Let's compare cab storage. If you're working or hunting, you always need tons of gear within arm's reach. The Rhino has a single glove box. The Ranger's brand new cab design has a big sealed glove box and four in-dash storage compartments. Total volume, over 1,700 cubic inches, over three times what the Rhino holds. Plenty of room to keep all your gear handy while working or hunting. Need even more storage? The new Ranger 700 XP and Ranger HD now feature a removable storage box under the seat. Let's compare cab space and comfort. In order to work hard, you've got to be comfortable. The Rhino seats two, and it can be a tight fit. The Ranger has beat Rhino in the past with comfortable three-person seating. Now the Ranger's redesigned cab space features a new seat that's recessed and angled back for car-like comfort. The new Ranger has 16% more legroom and 35% more total cab space than the Rhino. Plus, new tilt steering with the highest range of motion of any utility vehicle for easy in and out and customized comfort while driving. No matter how big or tall you are, Ranger gives you extra room to get the job done in comfort. While we're in the cab, let's compare steering effort. Long hauls while you're working or hunting can be fatiguing in a vehicle that's hard to steer. A torque wrench shows the new Ranger requires 17% less steering effort in two-wheel drive. That makes any job easier with the Ranger, especially plowing and hauling heavy loads over rough terrain. There is one vehicle that steers easier than the new Ranger, and that's the all-new Ranger HD with variable assist power steering. It's so easy you can steer with one finger. Our next hardworking test compares top speed. In this test, monitored by an independent third party, the Rhino tops out at 39 miles per hour, the Ranger 41 miles per hour. Rhino tries to keep up, but this test goes to Ranger again. Just as important as go power is stopping power. Let's see which vehicle has the best brakes. Both the Rhino and Ranger have hydraulic disc brakes with dual piston calipers. We'll run each vehicle at 25 miles per hour, then activate the brakes. To ensure fairness, we'll use an air cylinder that delivers a constant 30 pounds of force to the brake pedal. In a series of braking tests, the Ranger stopped at an average distance of 24 feet. It took the Rhino over 40 feet to stop, a full 16 feet farther than the Ranger. A hard-working vehicle must be able to get over rough terrain. This test shows the difference in four-wheel drive traction. If you're caught in a tough situation on the Rhino and need more traction, shifting from two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive and locking in the front wheels is a five-step process. Come to a complete stop, then push a button, flip a lever, push another button, and finally go. Every time you have to stop and push buttons, you lose momentum. 
you could find yourself stuck in the middle of nowhere. The Ranger delivers true all-wheel drive, automatically sending power to all four wheels when you need it. No stopping, no extra buttons or levers, just superior traction in all kinds of nasty terrain. Here are more hard-working comparisons. The Rhino has a 7.9 gallon fuel tank. The Ranger, nine gallons, 14% larger. The Rhino won't hold a standard pallet. The Ranger will. The new Ranger is, without a doubt, the hardest working vehicle. Now let's see which one is the smoothest riding. The new Ranger now has dual A-arm front suspension. It provides the operator with two big advantages smoother ride and handling over rough terrain, and full adjustability for work and play. The new dual A-arms on the Ranger are fully adjustable. It has spring preload adjustment that lets you dial in the suspension for recreational riding and light duty work. And when the work gets tough or the terrain gets rough, it has motion ratio adjustment. Two upper shock mounting points, also on the rear shocks, let you dramatically increase suspension stiffness. The Rhino has adjustable spring preload. The Ranger has that and more. With dual A-arms and suspension adjustability, the Ranger will be tough to beat in the smoothest riding tests. Smoothing out rough terrain is all about suspension travel. The new Ranger leads the industry. It has a full nine inches of travel in the rear, 23% more than the Rhino. Up front, it has 9.6 inches of travel, 27% more than the Rhino. That translates to a smooth ride the Rhino simply cannot match. Our next smooth riding test compares ground clearance. The empty Rhino has 11 inches, but add a driver, passenger, and 400 pounds in the box, and the Rhino loses almost two inches of ground clearance. The empty Ranger has 12 inches of ground clearance. The Rhino only carries 400 pounds, so we'll try that load in the Ranger. It has over an inch more ground clearance than the Rhino. Add a total of 600 pounds and the Ranger still clears the obstacles that the Rhino cannot. That means less worry about slamming into rocks and stumps when you're working or riding off-road. Here's an industry first. The all-new Ranger HD is the first utility vehicle with self-leveling shocks eliminating rear-end squat when carrying heavy loads. Put up to 1,000 pounds in the box. When the Ranger HD starts moving over rough terrain, the Nivamat shocks start working, lifting the box to near its unloaded height. That maximizes suspension travel and ground clearance, keeping the ride smooth during all kinds of heavy-duty applications. Looks like the new features on the ruggedly re-engineered Ranger make it even harder for Rhino to keep up. In test after test, spec after spec, the Polaris Ranger 500 EFI beats the Rhino 700 FI. The new Ranger is the hardest working, smoothest riding utility vehicle ever built. <laughs>